What's up, my Vena loves? It's Miss Vena D coming to you all from Vena Entertainment News. So, Kenya Moore is being more open about her pregnancy. I always said that in due time when she was ready, she was going to share. Now, if you did not watch the latest video I did on Kenya when she revealed her baby bump, go ahead and watch that video as well because I broke down everything like i it's doing so well so thank you all for watching the video so i'm not going to go that deep in this video because i went that deep in that video and for those of you who are sending me dms you know do you have more videos like that yes i do i actually have an entire playlist on the real housewife of atlanta so if you click on that playlist you will see videos like that where i go in depth and i have more information than I had in that video. I just, it was over 22 minutes long and I was just like, you know what, let's just not even go there. <laughs> but go ahead and watch that video and thank you all who have seen it so far. Kenya, you know, our girl been enjoying her cake and just, you know, she posted this image earlier today. And then she went ahead and posted this short clip of hearing her child heartbeat for the first time. Okay, good, good. It's so fast. It is. Barbie's heart rate is 110 to 160. And yours is going to be 60 to 100. Oh. Oh, my gosh. And what's the crown rump weighing? Uh, well, it made eight weeks. Okay, eight gotcha. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yes. Nice. <laughs> okay so her caption was my heart is overwhelmed by all the kindness and well wishes many of you have sent our family i felt compelled to share this video of one of our early ultrasounds early <laughs> ultrasounds when i saw my baby's heartbeat heart beating for the first time I cried like a baby myself. I couldn't believe this miracle was growing inside me and its heart was being beating so fast, okay? Even though my doctor says Barbie and <laughs> she meant to say baby, it was too early to tell the gender. Again, thank you for the love, prayers, and hope, okay? And then hashtag, 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 blessed. And then go ahead and read her hashtag. So... It's so sad that after years in the business, I understand Kenya Moore is a human being and she's always going to have her moment because we all have our moments. But it's sad that, you know, she have to go above and beyond and explain things in her caption because she already know, you know, how the blogs are going to take it and run with it. And even after she made it clear that this was early on, early, early on, and she, just, she still wanted to hear her child, you know, heartbeat even though it was early there were still some pages that still took just a video did not include the caption intentionally and put it up as this is kenya more you know recent ultrasound and next thing you know you know just to bring chaos because you have to understand People care about, you know, the coins and, you know, engagement and the more, you know, followers or subscribers you have and the engagement level, that's what will lead, you know, people to your account to say, hey, you know, I see uh, the channel is doing well, you know, and run ads and things like that. So some people don't blog with compassion. They blog for those hits. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm just talking in general this is not towards anyone you guys know i stay in my lane i don't do any of that stuff out there so i'm just focused on me so because i know people are quick oh there's this new girl called miss vena i think she was throwing shade we don't do that over here okay so let's just keep that positive energy going so back to kenya so anyways even though she said early on you know and the second part is kenya doctor have an accent that's how she says baby in her accent but kenya trying to fix this said she meant baby not barbie no or she could have just left that part alone i just simply explain my doctor have an accent big deal bye you know what i'm saying i have an accent i'm from west africa liberia you know i have an accent but i live in atlanta georgia so take my african my like african liberian accent 
mix it with the Atlanta accent and I also lived uh, up north for a little while before I moved to Georgia a long time ago mix all of that up and this is what you get but hey even with my accent I see them views going up I see them subscribers count going up you guys can still understand me so thank you for supporting me so that's all she she was trying to say but because she knew people were going to take that and say why is she calling the baby barbie like her life <laughs> for some of the people in pages that say she's irrelevant and she's not important and the show should let her go for her to be so irrelevant but for them to nitpick everything she says just shows how much power you know she has and i'm going to get back to everything else and the ultrasound and all of that but you know for the constant dms listen man i will be happy in a way not happy because her income you know she lost that income but i would choose peace any day over anything else you understand what i'm saying as long as you have a way to sustain and maintain yourself and your household and all of that choose peace because at this point i keep saying it but kenya don't have anything else to prove on that show so whether she's there or not she will still be kenya more because she was kenya before the show and she will be kenya after the show you know what i'm saying and i just hope that she did not accept a friend of the show position i hope she didn't because if she does then she just succumb to andy and those people over there basically trying to control them and i don't want to you know throw the slave word in there and you know, i don't want to do that because kenya is my girl and all but you know as far as i support her i don't know her personally you know but yeah because she had control like listen i chose love over the drama and mess okay so i went and got married because i know that bravo care about that check bravo don't care about me so it, it didn't you know and it wouldn't have mattered if the negative editing we have led to my husband and I not walking down the aisle Bravo was still going to go there because all they care about is that check and not me so I chose to get married without the show so if you don't want to bring me back have a nice life now what else is going on you know in her BFF verse in the Billy verse basically and she would have had control and that would have been very admirable and amazing to go on her press tour and be like look I chose love and my family over reality TV you know I chose to protect my family because I've seen what the editing and the drama and stress can do the marriages so I chose my marriage and my peace and my happy life over reality TV Kenya can still have an amazing career she can still go to a different network and create an amazing show around everything that has happened in her life her story is so beautiful that an amazing movie and, and just everything will be written around her life you know to come from everything she's gone through to be at this place that's an amazing story that i will watch you know so she doesn't need bravo so i'm really hoping that she did not take that position and if she did i'm just gonna have to rock with my girl because i support her but i'll be a little disappointed you know but then again like i said i'm not in that woman's bank account i'm not in her pockets people move how they move you know financially and in their own way and all of that i know portia did some things lost her peach and then came back as friend of the show and got her pitch back but kenya did not do anything compared to what portia did kenya went and got married she didn't beat up nobody she didn't threaten nobody she didn't lie on anybody she did not repeat a lie on tv you know what i'm saying and after portia repeated a lie on tv she still held her peach i think the only time she lost her peach was when she dragged kenya so even after what she did she still held her peach so now kenya she gets demoted because she chose to get married in peace bravo just care about all of the millions of dollars they would have made 
have they had the opportunity to film the woman who everyone said not you know not us who support her but majority said I would never get married and a beautiful and intelligent woman like her was not you know they didn't deserve love basically if, if, if people and this is no disrespect but if people who are going through stuff can still find someone and get married do what make you think that beautiful intelligent and everything going on Kenya Moore couldn't do the same and that's all Brad would care about that check so we will see what happened with Kenya but I hope I hope that the rumors are not true and if they are I hope she did not take it and if she did then business wise she knows what she's doing you know the check might be good but like i said even if she leaves bravo she will still be fine financially because she has a lot of other things going on behind the scene not just her more hair care not just her husband business because kenya was kenya more before her husband and everything else she have other businesses and things going on behind the scene and also one last thing Kenya is not Sheree and what I mean is she's not trying to keep up with the Joneses or anyone That's why she went and bought a fixer-upper fixed it. It's hers. It's fully paid for She's not trying to impress anyone She's not trying to go overboard just to prove look at my house look at me her house is paid for is hers It does not belong to a bank. You know what I'm saying? She's not trying to keep up with anyone you know she knows how to save her coins, <laughs> so she will be just fine. But whatever she chose to do, I'm wishing her the best. Now, Team Twirl also went ahead and, you know, sent Kenya this cute gift right here and go ahead and read um, the caption. She have a lot of beautiful comments. I mean, it's a lot to go through, but I'm going to put some of them on the screen here. We know you will be a great mom. Hearing you're pregnant is exciting. Hearing your heartbeat for the first time is overwhelming. Seeing your belly move is amazing. But holding the children with a child, children, God blesses you with is indescribable. Kenya, enjoy your pregnancy. Go ahead and read and rest. And Kenya responded, beautiful, crying right with you. And she responded, and Brandon, <laughs> I'm gonna be a great uncle. You already know. Hey, Brandon. Hey, sis. Put that baby on the phone. <laughs> and Cynthia Bailey went ahead and responded with some hearts. And Kenya responded, get ready, Auntie Cynthia. All right. And some more comments here coming in. Having a baby that doesn't define you as a woman, but it allows you the opportunity to enjoy motherhood who comes on a happy post just to discredit someone. Okay, and Kenya responded, well said. Congrats, join the amazing journey. Thank you, love. Ready for you to get my body back the way that day of delivery. Okay, so yes, fitness. Got it. All right. And Evelyn Lozada, hearts. Kenya responded with heart, hearts. Um, Kenya, just so you know, there's a Facebook group called Twirl Nation. We are all fans and supporters of you, your family, and all you do. We are truly happy for you and Mark, without a K, <laughs> and we wish nothing but the best for you and your family. Congratulations and God's blessings. Kina responded, yes, I know you guys are amazing. Thank you. All right. And I'm sure that group is happy, you know, that Kina is aware of them. Congrats, Kenya. Enjoy every moment. You know, she responded, Uncle Brent. All right and so happy for you both having lunch with you last week i could see the happiness and glow filling you up i can't wait to meet the bundle of joy you are going to be the best parent thanks babe really appreciate you you are an inspiration for women across the world that's a blessing thank you of course miss lawrence hey <laughs> and so you know kenya can only respond so much before she's like you know what let me go ahead and handle my business. I'll be right back, you know? Um, and there's more, there's more congratulations coming in. This one for Trina Braxton, Giselle Bryan, Essence Festival, talking about when Kenya was there last year. I posted all about it. You can go ahead and click the playlist and watch it. So you have, and the guy, the guy who's responsible for it all. Yes, Kenya and Mark did the work 
and of course God, all right, ordain everything. But Chef Robles is the one who did the whole setup situation, okay? This is amazing. I'm so happy for you two. Well, three now, all right? And like I said, it's amazing because he was the one who told Kenya about Mark and they set up a date and look at, look at what happened, all right? Look at God. <laughs> so there's a lot of beautiful comments here, okay? Now... Didn't I just say, once Kenya start posting, there are gonna be people saying, okay, you're doing too much now, we get it, you're pregnant, don't, you know what I'm saying? All of these people that were claiming last week that she wasn't pregnant, she lied so much and all of this, are now leaving comments, okay, we get it, you're pregnant, now you're just overdoing it. You understand what I'm saying? So never seek validation from anyone, especially people who are miserable and despise you, because nothing you do will ever be good enough. As long as you know that you are enough and you're more than enough and you're happy with yourself, just live your life and just be happy. You know, you know? So I hope one, one day in the future, Kenya decide to do a movie on her life because when I tell you she have an incredible story a very inspiring story a woman to be a product of the environment where she came from to be a part of history and to come out of that and to be shattered and broken and beat down and talked about and just the Oh my God, just disgusting. And each time she rises above. Just know that I will be back in four days, okay? With another Kenya Moore report. Maybe earlier, but I'm gonna wait <laughs> because on June 10th, our girl and her husband will be celebrating their one year marriage <laughs> anniversary, wedding anniversary. Now you know, in the case of Kenya Moore, that's basically 11 years because people were counting, oh, I gave it two weeks, I gave it a month, I gave it six months. Now, you know, the time frame will continue to change. Now it's gone for, I gave it six months, so that they're gonna be married for a year, and I'm sure she's gonna have a lot of posts, or probably one, or something amazing, you know, on the anniversaries. I will be right back posting about that. So now the timeline have changed. Oh, I give it two years, or I give it three years. Whatever the case might be, congratulations to Kenya and Mark. And also, yes, guys, I did see Wendy Williams mm -hmm, going going in on Kenya. You know, she wasn't aggressive with it. She was now okay. <laughs> this collage right here, where you see Marlo, you see Kenya, you see Kim Zosiak, you see Wendy. Okay, I did this collage when Kenya was on the Wendy Williams show. Now, people were saying, why are you gonna go on her show? She's so disgusting to you. And Wendy went as low as talking about Kenya Moore mother not being her life. She's been nasty to Kenya, but Kenya still went on her show with a smile on her face like, girl, your mess and your messiness don't face me. So this collage right here, was when Kenya was there. Wendy herself out of her own mouth said, Kenya, I heard you're pregnant. You're probably having twins. Don't lie to me. Wavy and saying, I know there's a baby in there. I know you're gonna make an announcement. Now, whether Kenya wasn't pregnant at that moment, but Wendy was so well aware that Kenya was trying to get pregnant. So for her to be that fake, it, and it's not, it's no surprise, okay? <laughs> it's no surprise. But for her to be that fake in Kenya's face and then sit on the show and say, oh, is that a burger belly? She's not pregnant, all of that. It's like, girl. You know, and you guys know I could go there, but I just choose not to give that type of energy to Wendy. But yes, I saw that mess, and Kenya is not faced by, by that. She knows she's pregnant, she knows what's going on, and that's all that matters. Oh my gosh, Kenya is working over time, you know, she's working over time to get a peach and all of that. Please remember, she made history, she will always be a part of history. And she was Kenya Moore before Bravo. She will be Kenya Moore after 
unravel. So stop huffing and puffing and behaving like without this show, somebody's gonna die. Like, it's not that serious, people. Chill. I'm talking about those people who's like, yeah, she lost a page. <laughs> it's like, dang, for a reality TV show? It's not that serious. This girl been in the business for so long, can't even fit all of the work she's done on the collage, but I'm just using this collage. She's, you know, whatever, so whatever you want. Oh my gosh, she was on one episode, two episodes, whatever the case might be, she's been doing her thing for a long time. And you cannot deny that, that she's been doing her thing. So Kenya's not sweating, but yeah, I'm not even sweating Wendy Williams either because it's no surprise there, that's what she does. So only Kenya knows what's going on in her body. Kenya can lift up her entire shirt and show her stomach and have the ultrasound. You guys can see her kit. And y'all will still say the video shook. Something is wrong. Someone edited a video and they 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 did some type of you know edit and, and something something weird happened. You know, go back to 1.6 <laughs> minutes. Why did the video shake like that? Yeah, something is wrong. I think it was somebody else's belly and then they managed to paste Kenya head in. <laughs> yes, that's how crazy these people are when it comes to this woman. So whatever the case might be, you know, I'm not sweating it. But yes, to answer your question, yes, I did see the Willie Williams um, interview. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'm wishing you all an amazing day. Remember to always have the God bless the attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.